वेलकम टू दिस लेक्चर ट्रू ओरिजिन ऑफ वर्ड बिजनेस इन अदर वर्ड्स मीनिंग ऑफ बिजनेस अकॉर्डिंग टू ओल्ड इंग्लिश सो द वर्ड बिजनेस इज इन फैक्ट एन ओल्ड इंग्लिश वर्ड विच मीन्स वरी कॉन्सर्न एंड आंगस्ट एंड वी विल कम टू दैट इन अ मोमेंट बट इन माई ओपिनियन बिजनेस शुड बी समथिंग विच गिव यू फुलफिलमेंट हैप्पीनेस सेटिस्फेक्शन एंड लॉस ऑफ जॉय दिस शुड बी समथिंग विच यू डू इर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ वेदर यू आर पेड फॉर इट और नॉट इट मस्ट बी समथिंग एक्साइटिंग एंड मस्ट एनर्जाइज यू ईच डे एज यू स्टीयर योर शिप इन द सी ऑफ बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट वेयर अदर शिप्स आर ऑल्सो सेलिंग अलॉन्ग साइड योर शिप सो यू must ask yourself the question if you become a millionaire or a billionaire today or get this much money via inheritance or something would you still do what you are doing now or would you switch to something else and retire if the answer is yes and you will keep on doing what you are doing now then it means that your self image and thoughts in your subconscious mind are aligned with what you are doing and you have embraced and accepted yourself as a person who is meant to do what you are doing currently it is this alignment of your self image and your thoughts and energy with what you are doing which will help you in remaining resilient committed and passionate without even realizing that because it is something which you have embraced so in my case the business that i am in is something which i do irrespective of whether i will be paid for it or not so if your business is centered on something that is your natural inclination something that you enjoy doing something that gives you satisfaction and happiness you will not only do it well but you will see challenges and hurdles as opportunities to grow you will not be stressed but you will instead subconsciously think of problems and hurdles that appear along the way as the experiences which help you grow and get better each day therefore life itself will become a growth centric experience and that will help you in creating massive impact in this case even if what you are doing might seem very stressful very irritating and very hard to others around you who might be telling you this from time to time it won't matter since your subconscious thoughts and what you are doing are in alignment so you got the point now many of my friends with the same education background are way more content working in corporate sector or working as a academics they like consistency they like routine they can climb up the corporate ladder and contribute to the success of someone's ambition vision and empire and this is perfectly fine nothing is good or bad this is what they like this gives them fulfillment and they have embraced the identity of a corporate worker that is why they wake up each day energized fulfilled and happy they like the job since it pays for their bills and allows them to sustain a lifestyle which they have subconsciously signed up for no i don't mean that they are underperforming or are not capable but they are performing in a way that is in alignment with their self image as i always say you can never outperform your self image the way you see yourself in your mind eventually manifests into reality so what i do for a living is something which many of my friends find very stressful and depressing in other words i solve strategic problems for other businesses i love numbers i like to find the blind spots in the market and the extent of fragmentation in the market this is my natural inclination and that is why i enjoy doing it therefore i counsel startups and smes so that they can become more strategically agile i fine tune their business processes as well as their product or service portfolio so that they can enhance their cash flow and remain profitable in long term so i get a lot of satisfaction from it but not everyone would and that is perfectly fine thank you for your time ladies and gentlemen and let's proceed to the next lecture